This is a quick tour of the Gatlinburg Summit. Now, I chose the Gatlinburg Summit because it was close to the National Park, but I was on top of a mountain. You can see here, there's Mount LeCant. Now, I can't see it. I can't see it, man, because there's a lot of clouds. So if you get one of these condos towards the end, you'll probably have LeCant views. And then the other side, that's a view over here. I think that's towards Pigeon Forge, which is also a good view. Now, the facility, the condo facility itself, they have this clubhouse right here in the rear of it is a uh, is a laundromat. You got to take your own coins, but it worked great. And then they've got a pool. You know, if you're there and it's not too cold, or maybe you've had a few and you want to get in the water when it's super cold, you could. And then uh, here's just a, a view from the far end. You can see there's a lot of units, and it's very well maintained, at least from my experience it was. I was there October 2020. Uh, you got a basketball court. If you want to get out there and shoot some hoops and let's see what else we got here you got uh, now I'm pulling out of my parking spot something a lot of y'all may have found if you're looking for a place to stay in Gatlinburg you have probably heard a lot of people say man the road up there dude the road to the Gatlinburg summit is so creepy well here we are we're getting on the road right now and I didn't find it to be that way at all I do not have four-wheel drive um, I've just got a uh, front-wheel drive um, Audi uh, car. So here I am in that. I'm driving down the down the mountain, and admittedly, you know, there's some spots that are there's sheer drop off. So if you didn't uh, if you didn't know how to drive or you encountered something unexpected, I mean, it, yeah, it would be possible to to drive off the side of the mountain, and that wouldn't be good. But uh, you know, with that being said, the drive I found the drive up and down the mountain to be entertaining. And, you know, obviously, when I was not driving, when I was a passenger going up and down the mountain, I found the views, especially up here, you can see to the right, it's really cloudy. Uh, but you can see LeCant covered in clouds. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's LeCant covered in clouds. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very awesome ride. Now, what I liked about this, and, and again, I wasn't there when there was snow or ice. So if it's snowing and icy, snowy and icy, you may find this road to be very challenging to get up and down. And I don't even know if it would be open if there's a lot of snow and ice or if they have snow plows or, you know, what do they do? But, you know, here in October, late October, early November, when I filmed this, peak leaf color season in Gatlinburg, you can see all the fall colors. Uh, when I was up there for this, what I really enjoyed about it is a, it's a very awesome drive down the mountain and up the mountain. And what's cool about this location, if you're familiar with Gatlinburg, the main road that goes down the middle of Gatlinburg, you know, where all the little restaurants and shops are, this will take you down right in front of the National Park. So, you know, there's that outdoor store, not of a hollow outdoor center, and then there's a Crockett's Breakfast Camp, which I love that place. I love both those places. This will take you down right there. So if you need to go eat or shop, there's a parking lot at the end of the strip, so you could park there. If you don't have intentions to do that, see, look at this turn here, man. This is kind of sharp. I go sharp to the right. So you'll see it gets, I mean, it's not, I don't I don't think it's sketchy, but, you know, you got to know how to drive, man. You got to take your time. You got to be sober, and obviously you should always be sober if you're operating a vehicle. But see, you could see if it was icy, this right here would get kind of, would get kind of dicey. If it was icy, it could get kind of dicey. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's just a great... I loved it. I mean, it was affordable. I'm popping it up. If you've got the little YouTube card, just that little pop-up box towards the top right, you can see a tour of the, uh, of the unit that I stayed in. And I just got an affordable unit. I had some college buddies coming. We were backpacking. You know, we were going out to sleep with the bears, so we didn't care about having the mountain view and paying the, you know, more expensive price for a condo with a mountain view. We just got the cheapest one there, or one of the cheapest ones there, and uh, basically just kind of used it as our base camp because we slept in the backcountry in tents, you know, eight, nine, ten miles out in the Smoky Mountains National Park most of the nights. But this location was cool because when we were going on our backpacking trips, when we were going on day hikes, we could just go down the mountain and we could avoid the strip because, you know, there's typically a lot of traffic on the strip. So the location couldn't have been better. And uh, the altitude, it was very fresh air. Uh, it was very peaceful up there. So, you know, just a great, a great view. And I mean, like I said, you can, 
you can go to the little laundromat, you know, take your quarters and, and pop your dirty clothes in there and wash your clothes and then dry them off. You know, pop your quarter in that or your quarters in that uh, dryer too because, you know, it's all coin operated. But, yeah, I found it to be great value, great location. I go to Gatlinburg quite a bit. And, again, I'm, a, I'm an adventure traveler. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to a place where, you know, I want to be pampered and spend a ton of money and, and have the resort experience. That's not me. You know, I want to be somewhere nice, somewhere with a good location, uh, somewhere that's clean, you know, obviously somewhere that's safe, but somewhere that's ultra affordable. And, you know, th- those are my requirements. And uh, I felt that, uh, you know, Gatlinburg Summit, uh, the condo I rented there, I mean, it exceeded my expectations. You know, it wasn't anything fancy, but it got the job done. This little guy was like pulled over. He's like, man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of this road. I got my Mercedes. Um, he's afraid of the road. But, uh, yeah, you can see this road could be a little, could be a little bit intimidating, but, you know, it's nothing, if you've ever been out in the Rocky Mountains, man, this is, this is child's play compared to that. So, I mean, it, you know, it's nothing to be afraid of. And that's why I want to show you so much of the driving, because so many people, when you read reviews about the Gatlinburg Summit condo, so many people are just talking about how scary this drive up and up and down the mountain is. And so you can see over there to the left, there's houses there, but there's a lot of places where it's a sheer drop-off. So, you know, if you if if you uh, lost control, you could, you know, potentially plummet a few hundred feet, maybe a few thousand feet. So, you know, the the opportunity for a, uh, <laughs> a horrible accident exists if one's not careful. So, you know, just take that into consideration. But with that being said, you know, sometimes, you know, and I've never been a... Uh, I've never been a fan of resorts. Um, see over here to the left, see that would be a great place if you were, if you were going to have a horrible accident. You could see straight ahead here. There's no guardrail to the left. I mean, you get into that, man. You're you're in a you're in a world of hurt. So, you know, I mean, it. I can see how people could say this is kind of scary, but I, I mean, I wasn't afraid. I was just, I was going to get some breakfast, man. I'm going down to Crockett's down in. Uh, at the end of the strip in Gatlinburg, getting my uh, skillet meal, whatever they call it. It's got the country ham and the bacon and the eggs and the grit. I mean, the hash browns and the uh, and the uh, pancakes. I mean, it's a huge breakfast, man. You know, you're gonna hike, you're gonna backpack, you want to be well fed, dude. That's what I like about this. And the other thing is, in the condo, had a had a stove, had a uh, had a you know full size refrigerator and freezer, had a microwave, had a sink. Did not have at least in my unit, did not have a washer and dryer. But like I said, in the clubhouse they've got the coin operated washer and dryer. And I took a ton of clothes, so I only did laundry one day. And that's because we we're out in the back country and got so dirty. I just I didn't want to haul that dirty stuff back home, man. I just wanted to go ahead and wash it, so I did. But so you can see this road. Funny story right here. See this turn that I'm about to take nothing too intense. There was a bus that was trying to go up there one day and the bus got stuck. And I don't even think buses are supposed to be on this road. I didn't get a video of it. I should have, but yeah, we had to wait on a bus. And down here on the right, and this again, we're heading towards, uh, heading down towards downtown Gatlinburg, but here to the right, not too far, there's a pizza place. And it's really good pizza. I think it's called... uh, is it Sky Mountain Pizza or something like that? But man, I got a pizza there one night. Man, we love that, love that pizza. And there's a little uh, grocery type market up here. You know, if you need, if you need, uh, you know, like convenience type store stuff, it's it's up here. So, you know, in theory, you wouldn't even have to go to town. And again, this is where this road is going is downtown, downtown Gatlinburg. But I mean, in theory, you could just you could just hang out in your condo. And I mean, I, I mean, I guess if you're older or or you lack any sort of adventurous spirit, you could do that and you could be perfectly content because it is relaxing and, you know, fresh air up there and, you know, just good stuff. Whoa, I went dark. I think that was all the uh, all the footage I got. So check out the links and uh, check out all of my videos from Gatlinburg and, uh, yeah, and check out the video of the actual condo that I stayed in the actual unit 
in the Gatlinburg Summit Condo Complex. Ask any questions you may have, too, within the comment section below and share this video with others. Oh, and be sure to subscribe, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.